Yo, what's good guys? JT back again here with another video. Today, I have for you the uh, the long-awaited Upper Deck 2020-2021 Series 1 Hobby Box. I know you guys have been waiting for this, and I finally got it. It took me a while. This box costs 180 Canadian, so it's pretty expensive. I don't know how many more of these I'm going to do. I might just stick to retail. So in this, you're looking for your Young Guns, which are 1 and 4, so you get 6 per box. You're also looking for your um, high gloss, which are numbered to 10, your exclusive numbered to 100, and your jersey cards, your clear-cut young guns, all that good stuff. So hopefully, we can pull a laugh from your young guns. Today, let's see what we can do. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys, have you guys opened any of this stuff yet? Or are you saving it? It's too expensive right now. Because it just it just keeps going up in price. I don't know how much more it's going to go up or if it's going to go down or what's going to happen because Lafreniere hasn't even played a game yet. So we'll see where it goes from here. But hopefully we can get a Lafreniere Young Guns or a Bowen Byram or a Timothy Liljegren or um, Nick Robertson is who I'm really looking for. So I think that's it. Oh, there's a little seal right here. Hold on. Let me cut that. So yeah, let me know if you guys are excited for this product or you don't really care for it. Are you guys really into the hockey or not really? Uh, let's see. This is going to be tough to get into. I don't want to mess up the box because the box looks awesome. But yeah, hopefully we can get a numbered card or an autograph, like a hobby exclusive. That's kind of why you're buying this. So you kind of hope you can get something like that, something cool like that. Uh, did you guys open any of the the hobby boxes last year i opened a couple i didn't really get much uh, my best cards actually came out of retail which was weird so yeah i got the um the quinn hughes or no the jack hughes young guns out of retail and that was my best pull so there we go finally got this thing cracked open um yeah so i brought the uh, big guns in to help us in the back i brought the quinn hughes future watch auto and the Austin Matthews Young Guns. So here's your ad for Synergy. Um, that's coming up soon, don't know exactly when. And there's the back of that for you. So this is what the pack looks like if you haven't seen it. You got your odds on the back there, if you wanna read it. But yeah, so without further ado, let's get into this hobby box. I am excited. 2020, 2021. I've been waiting to open this for such a long time, so I'm glad I can share this experience with you guys. Wow, these packs are hard to open. I haven't even seen these cards in person yet, just a couple YouTube videos here and there. So this is going to be awesome. All right, so our first card is a Dylan Strom. So this is what the base looks like. This is what the back looks like. So it's got your little write-up, your standard upper deck stuff. The front kind of reminds me of like an early 90s kind of card. So it's pretty cool. So anyways, um, yeah. So we got Dylan Strom. We got Adam Fox. Tyler Sagan. I do like these base cards. These are nice. Uh, Braden Point. And, oh, we got one of these first, first pack. NHL Worldwide. Elvis Merzlikens. That's cool. I know you can get the die cut one of these, which is really awesome as well. So, so yeah, NHL Worldwide Elvis. That's a cool card. Let's so put that off to the side. And then we have Kaylor Yamamoto. And then Mitch Marner. To end, oh, Mitch Marner and Gabriel Landeskog. Wow, so these are pretty cool. I like these. I like these. Uh, the design of this year. It's really good. The past few years have been actually really good. I'm enjoying it so far. I don't really like the portraits as much. I find those are kind of ugly. But everything else looks pretty awesome, like the canvas and stuff like that. There's also French variations in this that you got to look out for. I'll probably just go through the cards and then look for those after. Uh, Samuel Gerard. We got Zach Hyman. Uh, John Klingberg. We got uh, Dmitry Gorlov. And our first canvas is a Frederick Anderson. Wow, that's nice. This is a Maple Leafs box, man. That's pretty cool. Wow, I like that. The canvas this year look really good. That's the back. Wow, that looks awesome. I actually really like that card for a canvas. Uh, next, we got James Neal. Uh, Jonathan Druin. 
and Tony D'Angelo. All right, so we have yet to get a Young Guns, but that is okay. We'll probably get one in this pack, maybe. But yeah, let me know. Did you guys get the Lafreniere Young Guns? Canvas, high gloss, the regular one. Are you guys keeping them? Are you selling them? What's the play? I think if I get it, I'm going to keep it because I want to see what he can do. But I don't want to buy one yet because you never know. If I buy one for 300 bucks and then he doesn't play good at all, and then it goes down to 50 bucks. We got William Carlson next up. We got Alex DeBrinkett. We got uh, Brady Shea. Oscar Clefbaum. Oh, our first Young Guns. Victor Soderstrom for the Coyotes. Wow. Okay, cool. I don't know too much about this guy. But we'll do research on him afterwards. That's what the back looks like. I really do like the Young Guns design of this year. Um, some of them do have rounded corners, so you got to watch out for that. I've seen a lot of people complaining about that. Uh, we got Jeff Petrie. Josh Mason. And Carter Hutton to end off that pack. So yeah, you just got to check out the corners of your young guns because some of them are pretty uh, messed up from the factory. So that's a big issue. So maybe if they do like a second wave or a second printing, maybe hopefully they fixed it. But we'll see what's going on with that. But yeah, I, I am enjoying this. This is a nice set, man. Probably have to open more hobby boxes just because like, I really want to get that Lafreniere, man. Even have the whole set would be pretty cool. Because, like, no, none of these players have really played that much yet. Except for the carryover rookies. So it's interesting to see, to give them, like, a year. See what they can do. And see who really comes out as the stars. So next up, we got a, a Connor Garland. Philip Zadina, second year. Uh, Tavo Teravainen. Oh, another one. NHL Worldwide, Ben Bishop. Nice. That's cool. I like that. The American flag. That looks pretty sweet. Wow. Yeah, I like these. The new inserts. Even the predominant ones are pretty nice as well. So we got Noah Hannafin. Carter Hart. Oh, I like that one. That one's cool. Uh, we got Christian Dvorak. And then we got Jean-Gabriel Peugeot. Alright, next pack up. So yeah, this is going to be a decently long opening. So grab some popcorn, guys, and just sit back, relax, and have fun. I might be opening up uh, last year's hobby boxes, too. Like, I haven't opened a Series 2 yet, so I want to get a Series 2 and try to look for that Kale Makari Young Guns. Next up, we got Jake Gensel, Alex Ovechkin, Nikita Gusev. That's a cool picture. Uh, Quinn Hughes. Oh, that's cool. And an Eric Stahl canvas. Wow, that's a neat photo. That's pretty cool. I like that one. That's what the back looks like. Decent. I do like the canvas cards. Even though they never really go for too much, they're just cool looking. Depending on the year. Like, sometimes they do them kind of rough. Sometimes they do them pretty good. Hopefully we can get a clear-cut Young Guns or something. That would be awesome. I haven't gotten one of those before. Nor have I got an exclusives or a high gloss. So any one of those would be sick. The best card I've got is just a regular Young Guns or that Quinn Hughes uh, Future Watch Auto when it comes to hockey cards. Ricard Raquel, Shea Weber, uh, Sergei Bobrovsky, a canvas, Thomas Shabbat, a Neil Pionk, Jordan Eberle, Eric Carlson, Philip Pronick. And that's the end of that pack. So yeah, one gun, one young gun so far. So we're looking for the next one. It'll be in this pack right here. Let's take a look. So yeah, I don't know what the sequencing is like. Because there definitely got to be some sort of uh, pattern to it. So we got UC Soros right there. That's a cool one. Oh, we got another one, John Tavares. Oh, I messed that one up. There's John Tavares. John Gibson has a landscape pack. And then we got Connor Hellebuck. That's a cool photo. I like that one. So we almost got all the canvases out of the way. We got Nikita Zaitsev, Lars Eller, Morgan Riley, and we got a Frank Vitrano. So yeah, we basically got all the canvases out of the way right at the start. We haven't got a portrait yet, so I want to see what those look like in person. I haven't seen that yet. 
We got two worldwide. I don't know how many of those you're supposed to get a box. But probably, I, I would assume like three or four. Just because it's kind of like a basic insert. So next up, we have Bra uh, Braden Chain. We have Colton Pareko. We have Adrian Kempe. Oh, this is our first predominant. Oh, and we got Austin Matthews. Nice. That's awesome. Predominant Austin Matthews. I do like these ones. The black and white. That's pretty sweet. So that's what the back of that looks like if you haven't seen it before. Nice. All right. So yeah, this is definitely a Leafs box. We got Callie Yarncroke. Ben Bishop. We got David Riddich. And Miles Wood to end off that pack. Wow, the base cards are just piling up here. I can't, I can't even contain them all. All right. Okay, next up. So yeah, hopefully we can get lucky with this next, whatever next young guns we get. I'm really hoping for that Lafreniere. If we can pull it out the first hobby box, that would be insane. Probably won't need to open any more of this afterwards, unless there's somebody else to figure that out. I want to pull. So next up, we got Nick Felino. We got Jared Spurgeon. We got Charlie Coyle. Another Young Guns coming up here. We got Connor Murphy. And we got Young Guns Timothy Liljegren. Nice. That's one we wanted. So two defensemen so far. Jordan Bennington. Uh, Brandon Carlo. And then we got Checklist of David Pasternak and Alex Ovechkin. Nice. Wow, that's pretty sweet. So we got one of the ones we at least wanted to pull. Timothy Liljegren, defenseman for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So hopefully he can pan out and be something spectacular. But we'll just have to wait and see. Awesome. That's dope. Okay, so that's the best card of the box so far. Let's keep it going. So yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know who goes together. So I don't know who Liljegren and, and uh, Soderstrom go with. But we'll just have to wait and see. So we got JT Comfer, Phil Kessel. We got Thomas Ke uh, Thomas Hurdle, uh, Ryan Ellis. We have a predominant of Roman Yossi. We have Jonathan Marchessault, uh, Duncan Keith, and we got Vincent Trocheck. All right, next up. So yeah, this box has been pretty good so far. So hopefully we can pull at least one banger, like a Young Guns canvas or something. I love those Young Guns canvas. I, I got quite a few, actually. I love pulling them. They're one of my favorite cards, for sure. Next up, we got Nick Suzuki. We got Ivan Provorov. Oh, nice! We got Ivan Provorov UD game jersey right after that. Wow. That is pretty sweet. Okay, cool. Nice. That is sweet. Next up, we have a Tanner Pearson. We got a Zach Parise Evgeny, and Evgeny Malkin to end that off. All right, so I think we're about halfway through the box now. So now we got one jersey card, uh, two young guns, a couple predominant, and then a couple NHL Worldwides, and three canvas. So next up, we got Jacob Truba. We got Joe Pavelski. Alex Iofalo. Oh, Tyler Benson, Young Guns. I wasn't even expecting that. I uh, don't know too much about Tyler Benson, so if you guys know much about him, let me know in the comments. Is he any good? Is he a solid player? Uh, Colin Miller, Jonathan Taves, Artemi Panarin, and Justin Abdelkader. So yeah, let me know. Is Tyler Benson any anything good? You think he's going to be a top NHL talent? Or... Is he just kind of someone that's going to go off to the side? Next pack up. I got to do more research because I haven't researched too much of this set yet. I haven't opened any of it. I just kind of know the main names we're trying to pull. And then I don't really know too much about the about most of the draft class. So next up, we got Tuka Rask. We got Jeff Carter. We got Dylan Dubé. Sean Couturier. Oh, Dazzlers, Evgeny Malkin. Nice. That's cool. Okay, so this is, you get one of these per box, I believe. 
Um, and then you can also get the pink variation. Wow, that is cool. I like that card. Wow, that's decent. I like that. And we got a good player as well. So next up, we got Miko Koskinen. Uh, Jacob Silverberg. And then we got Matt Duchesne. Wow, okay, cool. I like those Dazzlers. Do you guys, let me know in the comments, do you guys like Dazzlers or you're not really a fan of them? I think it's a new insert for this year. So yeah, let me know. Do you guys like them or you think they could do without them? I personally think they're pretty cool. You know, it adds a little change up. You know, it's a little different. I like the foil cards compared to like years past where they just like, everything's kind of like basic. You know, it gives you a little breath of fresh air. All right, next up, we got Nick Letty. We got Elvis Merzlikens, Peter Mrazek, Brandon Gallagher. We got Ivan Samsonov. Oh, Ilya Samsonov, sorry. And we have a Steven Stamkos. A Patrick Hornquist, Penguins. Uh, Ilya Samsonov again. And that's the pack. So I think this Ilya Samsonov is a French text. Uh, let me see. One of these cards is a French text anyways. Yeah, so this one is a French text card. So they're 1 in 30, I believe. So that's pretty cool. We got one of those. I wish we could have got the French Young Guns. would have been sick. Yeah, see, so this one says Capitals on the side there. And this one says very on Franchise. All right, so next pack up. Let's see. Yeah, I like the French Young Guns. Those are pretty cool. I like how they made that this year because that's a different thing we haven't really seen before is French text cards. They used to have those way back in the 90s, but they kind of stopped doing it. So it's cool to see. Just adding more variation, you know? So it's like there's so much more you can pull out there rather than just your basic stuff. Next up, we got John Marino, Riley Smith, uh, Matt Zuccarello. Oh, nice. Let's go. We got to see. We got one of the pink ones. I forget the odds on the pink ones. Uh, it's not numbered, but still, that's awesome. So we got two Dazzlers. So we got the blue Evgeny Malkin, and then we got the rare pink one of Jonathan Huberdeau. Next up, we got Franz Nielsen. We got uh, Philip Grubauer, Kasperi Kapanen, Essa Lindell, and that's the pack. That's cool. So we got both Dazzlers to show you guys. Wow, that's awesome. So yeah, I forgot how rare those are. I'm going to have to double check that afterwards. But I believe those are, I can't remember. I think the, the blue ones are one per box. So the pink ones are probably like one every few boxes or one every half case or something. So next up, we got Rasmus Ristolainen. We got Noel Akari. Uh, Kevin Hayes. Connor McDavid. Not bad. Nice. Even though it's just a base. Oh, nice. We got one of these. Rookie Retrospective. Ilya Samsonov. Wow, 2019-20 rookie rankings. That's cool. Next up, we got Dougie Hamilton, Boone Jenner, and Ryan Suter. Wow, that's cool. Rookie re Retrospective. i never seen that before. So we're down to the last, last couple rows of the box. See, we got a couple more... Young guns and stuff like that to go. So let's pull some bangers. All right, next up, we got a Darnell Nurse, a Alex Kerfoot, we got um, Nazem Kadri, former Leaf, Nikolai Ehlers, a Young Guns Connor Ingram for the Nashville Predators. Wow, nice. Okay, TJ Oshi, Robert Thomas, Ryan O'Reilly. So yeah, again, it's another person I don't know too much about. So you guys are going to have to fill me in on. Connor Ingram. Let's see what his stats say on the back. So he played for Milwaukee. Games played. 33, 21 wins, 5 losses. Save percentage, 933. So that's pretty good, actually. So I mean, let's see what else he can do. Let's see what he can do in the NHL, because those are some pretty good stats. But you never know. It's always different when they come into the league. Some people can handle it. Some people can't. So, let's see. And I'm pretty sure Nashville's pretty good on goalies right now. So, 
I don't know, maybe he might not get that much playing time. So we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, we got Jakob Chikrin. We got Brock Nelson. Colin White. I'm pretty sure we got a Young Guns coming up here. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, Michael DiPietro. Nice. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's a good one. So we got a goalie for the Canucks. We got Michael DiPietro. That's decent. I mean, they just signed Braden Holtby, so we'll see what happens with that. And they got um, the other backup goalie. Uh, I can't remember his name right now. Aaron Ekblad, Eunice Donskoy, Darcy Kemper, and we got Martin Jones. What's his name? Um, from 2016 Young Guns class. Uh, his name starts with a T. I'm pretty sure they still have him. Oh, Thatcher Demko. I'm pretty sure is their backup still. So, um, Let me know if I'm wrong or if I'm right. But So we'll see what happens with Michael DiPietro, if he's going to get a lot of playing time or what will happen. Because I know most of these people are just kind of like thrown in just to kind of fill up the young guns. So we'll see. Uh, Philip Deneau. We got uh, Semyon Varlamov. We got Rocco Grimaldi. Zach Wierenski. A portrait of Max Pacioretty. That's our first portrait. Um, Charlie McAvoy. Brandon Saad. Thomas Tatar. That's it for that pack. So yeah, here's the... Here's a close-up look of the new portraits. Kind of like a 1980s design or something. Kind of reminds me of like Rugrats too. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. So we have four four young guns. So we're still expecting two more young guns. With, I think, the chance of pulling a canvas young guns. I don't know if you can uh, get a canvas young guns in the same box as a jersey. Or if you can get a clear cut in the same box as a jersey. But we will see. So next up, we got Hampus Lindholm, Jack Eichel, uh, Matthew Perot. We got a rook. Oh, debut dates. Morgan Frost. So that's our first debut date. Uh, November nineteenth, twenty nineteen. So Morgan Frost is definitely one of the better rookies from last year's class. Kyle Palmieri, J T. Miller, and Mika Zibanejad. Oh, and Alexander Radulov. So we're down to the last four packs, guys. So hopefully we can get some bangers out of this half of the box. We got two more young guns to go. So hopefully hopefully there's some big ones, like a Bowen Byram or a Lafreniere. Just really end the box off with a bang. So we got Art Artem Anisimov. We got a Blake Coleman. Marcus Johansson. Uh, portraits of Tyler oh rookie portraits of Tyler Benson so we got the young guns and the rookie portraits nice that's pretty cool Tyler Benson next up we got Anze Kopitar we have a uh, Brandon Tanev we got Mark Stone and Alex Stalock three packs left so we're expecting was it two young guns I think right out of the three packs, we got one, two, three, four. Yeah, so we're expecting two more young guns out of three packs. So let's see what we can do. If I can even get the packs open. But yeah, have you guys enjoyed this video? If you have, don't forget to leave a like on the video. It really helps out the channel, really helps spread the word. So yeah, next up we got Nick Dowd. We got a William Nylander, uh, Keith Yandel, Alec Martinez, a Connor Hellebuck, UD Portraits. We got a Philip Forsberg, a Rasmus Dahlin, and Drew Doughty. So yeah, two packs left. So we should be expecting two more young guns, I think. But that'd be kind of weird to get the last two packs with two young guns in it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. If not, hopefully we didn't get like missed out on a young guns by but we shouldn't have. So we got a Pavel Zaka, a Jason Zucker, Jonathan Bernie, a Sebastian Aho UD portrait. Uh we got Blake Lazat, Anders Lee, Alexander Wenberg. Martin Nietzsche's, 
And that's it for that pack. So that's weird. We only got... That doesn't make sense. So if we only got one, two, three... Oh, we got five young guns. Okay, that's why. See, I miscounted. I thought we were missing a young guns for a second. I was like, wait, that doesn't make sense. Did someone already open this box up? All right, so last pack up. You guys know what to do. Last pack up in the comments. See if we can pull this Lafreniere. All right, so we got a... In the last pack, we got Elias Lindholm. P.K. Subban. A Dylan Larkin. And a Jake Evans. For the Montreal Canadiens, Young Guns, final Young Guns of the box. So we got Travis Sanheim, Mikhail Backlund, Alexander Barkov, and a Travis Konechny. So that's it. <clears throat> that's our last Young Guns of the box. Is a Jake Evans. So just to recap here, guys, the best hits of the box. So these are our six Young Guns. We got Jake Evans. Timothy Liljegren, which is my favorite. Uh, Victor Soderstrom. Tyler Benson. And Michael DiPietro. And Connor Ingram, Young Guns. And then we also got the Jonathan Huberdeau Pink Dazzlers. The Evgeny Mulliken Blue Dazzlers. And, a, and a Ivan Provorov UD Game Jersey. So all in all, I really enjoyed opening that box. That was awesome. So if you guys also enjoyed and had a fun time watching, leave a like and subscribe for more content. I will see you guys next time. Peace.